Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Explosive offenses on virtually every campus in the Pac-12. Time to establish a little pecking order with this early season matchup in the Pac-12. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the head. Has the ball set how he wants it. And we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Colorado's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. From their own 27-yard line, second down. middle got his back and he's tackled at about the 33 yard line that play was designed to pick up a first down but they didn't do it it looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field the punt upcoming and they're going to come after this one tackle made at the 40 yard line The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Got it, and brought down immediately. Third down, four yards to go. Ball on the 46. Gives it up the gut. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. The Beavers always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. it out to maybe the 29-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play.
Second and eight. Ball on the 31. There's a strike complete. That's a great tackle at the 38. Grants with the tackle at the 38 yard line. That'll make it third and one. And he shoved out of bounds at the 48. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. Tackle made at the 39. Call the game of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Taken down at the 41-yard line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. He makes his way to about the 32. Another carry for this kid, and he'll get the first down. He's carrying this offense on his back right now, and I think they'll keep giving him the ball until the defense figures out a way to stop him. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Mike, eight! Mike, eight! You can't block me. You can't block me. Yes, yes! Patriots! Patriots! At the corner. Makes it out to about the 19. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 19. And down he goes around the nine-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Throw. Touchdown, Colorado! <laughs> These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. And he adds the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Tigers take the field ranked second in the country with their eyes on number one. It felt as if the game rested on every play. The Tigers walk out with a seven-point win. Elsewhere, the Cowboys were ranked 20th. That performance showed that they are capable of moving much higher. And for Oklahoma State, they've won two straight. The Cowboys take it by three. All right, Reese, back to our game. Colorado is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. They bring him down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Now he's scrambling. And he is drilled at the 15. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. 
If I'm an offensive coordinator, or especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. And he'll be sacked again. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. And he's taken down at the 46. The Buffaloes really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot to tell them that they're the big underdog in this game and they're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Colorado is up a score. Inside handoff. He fights forward to about the 46. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. Austin brings him down at the 36-yard line. He's tackled around the 28-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. First down. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. The Buffaloes lead 7-0 from the 28-yard line. First down. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. That brings up second and one. again got an opening nice gain as he works the right side that makes it first and ten Colorado up seven points He'll get the call again. And they make the stop right around the six-yard line. That makes it second and two. Here's the eighth play of the series. Going to the end zone, and it's coming back out. Has some daylight. And he will score. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This defense right now, you got to believe, is licking their chops to try to get another turnover. They have such confidence right now after that last turnover and touchdown to tie this.
this game. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. They go with the run. They'll drop in for a loss. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. Completes it across the middle. Brought down at the 40. Boy, this guy really showed some giddy-up getting down the field for a big game. First down. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Two down, two down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Ten. Ten. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. Good speed off the edge by the sophomore to come up and make the hit. Makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. That makes it third, seven. third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. Delivers to the halfback on the screen, and he's tackled at about the 49. it to the 48-yard line. That's a deep deep deep. That brings up second and nine. And this play is number eight on the drive. Gets out to around the 38. That's a deep deep deep. That, makes that makes it first and ten. ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. He makes it to the 35-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Here's a handoff, left side. He gets to about the 24-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. Second and, six. and this is the 12th play of the drive. Caught and he's hit immediately. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if they can put that last interception behind them and do something different this time in the red zone. The 10, open man, and it's his wide receiver. The 5. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? And he converts the extra point. So a 13 play, 75 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Colorado to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. At the 30, he steps out at the 30 yard line.
Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Gets it. He's in space. He gets hit out of bounds around the 46-yard line. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. their own 46 yard line first down they'll line up with five wide receivers he rifles it got it to the senior touchdown beavers here's the PAT to tie this thing up he hits the PAT. A quick two-play, 70-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. 14 apiece. Hayes gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Complete. He's got room, and he's level at the 43. That makes it first and ten. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's pushed out of bounds around the 30-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. I think the thing, Brad, that I'm seeing is the quarterback's taking advantage of some one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this offense. The score now, 21-14. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down at about the 25-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. three-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. From their own 33-yard line. First down. He goes downtown. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. I'd say the offensive coordinators definitely showed their wares in that first half. 21-14. Buffaloes. 
We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Martinez on the give. And he is drilled at the 28-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the 28. Lindsay takes the give. Makes it to the 37. Another run. They'll knock him down for a loss. That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Caught in a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And that one's incomplete. The offense is on its way out on the field again, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone in their past couple of drives. Colorado is up seven. And he's hit immediately. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on their own 37. He makes his way to about the 45. That's a gain of eight on the play. First down. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. From their own 45-yard line, second down. Little handoff. Gets to about the 47-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. I feel the corner position is really one of the hardest to play. So when I see a young player like this make a play like that, it's impressive. Slings it. He's taken down at the 37. First and ten. From the 37 yard line, it's first down. Colorado is up a score. Fires quick to an open man, he dropped it. That makes it second and ten. Down. 
Takes the ball right, and they got him for a loss. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Throws complete, he's got room to work. He's tackled at about the 27-yard line. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. That's a review the play. The ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. run up the middle that's a game of five on the play that brings him second and five here's the 11th play of the drive Colorado up seven points slings it out there incomplete coach is going to have to be happy with that one the defender was in the right position to make the play from the eight-yard line. Third down. Tackle made right around the four-yard line. Here's the give, and he tackles him hard at the six. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle at the 17. Throwing a screen will sometimes slow down the pass rush. So if you're playing a team that likes to blitz a lot, this is one way to get them out of it. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 17. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Complete. Brought down. Nothing doing. Number 99 makes the tackle at the 18-yard line. That brings up second and nine. He tackles him for a loss. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That'll make it third and 13. They line up at the 14. It's third down. Let's go, defense. Go. Drop down at the 27 yard line. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. He's knocked out of bounds at the 42. We're about set to start things up again. Colorado is up by a touchdown. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. 
They couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. Well, I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. From their own 40-yard line, second down. yard line and it looks like this one's going to come down to the final quarter the Buffaloes with a touchdown lead back in this very pivotal fourth quarter they come out in a five wide set Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Number one, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. He's out to the 30. Knocked out of bounds around the 37 yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. That brings up second and nine. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down, five wide. A little handoff. And he's tackled at the 36. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. the 34 yard line first down he might have a chance gains his way to the 16 yard line it middle to the running back and he's taken down around the eight yard line so it's second down and about two yards to go And this is the eighth play of the drive. Touchdown, Oregon State. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. 
He makes the PAT. An eight play, 62 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Oregon State lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Steps out of bounds around the 27 yard line. That makes it fourth and eight. Gould, the return man. And he makes it out to about the 47 yard line. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 49-yard line. He's at the 40. He makes his way to about the 28. From the 28-yard line, first down. Just under three to go in regulation. Hands off and not much room there as they try to work the left side. That makes it second and ten. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. Second and five. Ball on the 11-yard line. Heading for the corner. Touchdown, OSU!
play clocks at zero. They took too much time. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Colorado staff right now has got to be thinking what the defense is looking at and what they're going to be keying on. Well, the defense is going to be looking at this running back. They're going to put everybody that they can to be able to stop him and not allow him to make a, a big play. That means the offense is going to have to be able to find somebody else maybe on this drive ready to step up and maybe become the hero to be able to win this game. And a quick throw. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. Colorado will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Under a minute left. He's tackled at the 12. And that's what we were talking about earlier. Absolutely. Nice pass play here. The quarterback shows some guts here throwing this one into coverage. But good accuracy. And again, great timing on the throw. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Second and 10. Ball on the 12. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick throw, and they push him out at the three-yard line. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. This might be their last chance. Fourth down. He's in trouble. Just an unbelievable stop where they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. Huge play for the defense. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. out to around the 18. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Oregon State is up seven. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. And so that's going to do it. The Beavers get the victory. 28-21. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.